Okay, this is attempt number three <laughs> to leave Grenada. Put your air mask on first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we found our dream it's boat. A freaking dream boat. So, what are we doing, Nick? You got in your last airplane flight uh, for a while? the last leg. I'm kind of done with airplanes flying. So, maybe Never it's, heard that before. Maybe it's time for you to get to your flight yet. Well, that didn't last very long. I know, we went and booked a flight yesterday. Here we are again, packing up for another big trip. Maybe one of the biggest trips we've ever taken. Do you think this time we can go a little lighter, Nick? Uh, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Major change in course for the O'Kellys. We're gonna have more videos coming your way. We are back to sailing. That's gonna be pretty nice. Details at the end of the video. What do we have on tap for these nice folks this week? It's a little different. Uh, I would say a little more chill, a little more relaxed, uh, more kind of like if you were hanging out with us. Yeah, I would say this is O'Kelly's Unplugged. Raw and somewhat uncut. Let's pick up where the story left off. Yeah, we needed a recharge and we got it. Some island time, some boat time, and we had a ton of fun. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Nick, Nick, you've stayed awake this whole time. What have, what's what happening? this whole time? Holly and I have been asleep. Oh, God. We've set our alarms. You have to stand watch for a momentous <laughs> occasion like this. The good ship Nahoa is completing its lap. <gasps> These guys are rock stars, and they're already talking about the next lap. That is hardcore. That's so cool. Let's join them on their second lap. We'll need a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, who's next? <laughs> Us. Okay. okay what are you doing? Wait, first of all, what's happening? Uh, I am deleting, I'm completely removing the last element of social media that's not <gasps> directly connected to our Sabado social media. So okay. any of my personal stuff I've already gotten rid of, Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, now Twitter, no, X, X. formerly, <laughs> formerly Twitter, which... Yeah, which is nothing but doom scrolling. Okay. It's all bad news. And every time you use it, you just don't I feel very feel good. Horrible! I get sad. I get I, I just am drained. Yes, deactivate. <gasps> oh my god! Done. <gasps> Woo! How yes. do you feel? How do you feel? <laughs> oh my god! This is so cool. I feel uh, yes. I feel great. Relieved. Wow. I'm relieved. Yeah. I should have done this. Someone oh, sent us no. a text though, like there's a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't even do X. I don't do any of that stuff, but you know, my reason for wanting to get off social media is so much less noble. It's. it's you need a, to delete Instagram. It's a time waster. Like, I really enjoy dad <laughs> jokes and cat videos. cat videos. I really enjoy that stuff. But I'll, I'll burn through a couple hours. But you know, so the other thing too, though, is oh. Nick, Nick will send those <laughs> memes and videos that he enjoys to me through social media. <laughs> yeah. And I really enjoy that communication between Nick and I. And so there's got to be, we have to figure out how to keep that. Sprouts are well, here. I'm really proud of you, Ray. That's, I am too. Yeah. You know, it's Way not. To be proactive. Yeah. yeah. Or what did I say? Well, we're on we're boats. On, we're on boats. Like, the idea is to get away from normal life, right? So why let it chase us down? Yeah. It's like a it's like a disease that kind of came along, you know what I mean? 
it's like it's still a tether. It's, it's a like tether. A oh, yeah, yeah a tether. it's a tether. Yeah, it's a it's an absolute emotional anchor. Yeah, just holds you there. Yeah. And you know what's weird is, like, if you don't have the internet, you don't have any connection. Like, you do forget about all the stuff going on. Yeah, yeah the stuff going on. Yeah, <laughs> like it's still going on, but yeah. you just don't know yeah. anything about it. Yeah. No, I find what before we had Starlink, oh. we would. We, oh. Oh, beautiful. Wow. We would be without any sort of connections, and I would start worrying that I forgot what I should be worrying about. <laughs> oh. right? And then after another day, I'd be like, okay, I'm done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's for the YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Say like and subscribe. <laughs> oh is this double blueberry? <laughs> double blueberry, sourdough, oatmeal, muffins. With the crumble on top. With the crumble on top. You can't have a muffin without a crumble. All right, Nick. Let's have you try one of these. No, it's too pretty. I'm not touching <laughs> those things. Are you kidding me? That's a work of art. I know. That's the prettiest badge I've made, I will say. And I wish there I'm was smell a vision. Yeah, look nice. I'm looking at it from the side there. Yeah. It's like a whole serving of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> These are healthy. They're healthy, so we could just eat coconut all of them. oil and... instead of butter. Oh, if that nice. justifies it for you. <laughs> hey, you know what? I can I can justify anything. <laughs> yeah. For all right. Sure. Let's get your reaction. Well, I, I'm serious. Actually, I don't. I don't you, really. They're kind of warm. Be careful. Like I could hurt myself. Uh -huh, let's see. Oh. No, you'll be okay. I'll be all right. Make, make There's some heft. There's some there? heft to this. Okay. This is uh, this is some density. Nice. Yeah, that's sourdough. Oh yeah, and there's sourdough. It's all sourdough. I love sourdough. That's not true. Oh my god! I can't wait. What do you? What do you think? Chef. <laughs> Cheers to you. <laughs> A muffin cheers. <laughs> muffin cheers. Thank you. <laughs> so awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be back to uh, gas station hot pockets <laughs> and uh, and Monster Energy drinks here for the next few days. Oh, I'm joking about the Monster Energy drinks, by That's the way. Right. But we have been spoiled rotten by these two. I mean, the foot massages, <laughs> the... Uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. The lullabies, you know. <laughs> Holly, Ray, I can't sleep. Now tell me a bedtime story. No, I, it's, it's been quite the uh, treat. Yeah. You know, we needed the recharge, didn't we? Yes. Not that we were down, but we we're like. I've completely forgotten about the boat we came down to see. You know me too. <laughs> I know. I have forgot. It was a good visit. <laughs> story time. Yeah. You can't make this stuff up. No, I mean. this one was particularly hilarious. So we didn't tell you much about why the boat in Grenada fell through and why it was just so darn clear why we shouldn't pursue it any further. We sent off a list of questions to the seller of this boat. It was 41 questions. I know some of you thought that that was a lot of questions, but really that was just the beginning. We would have more and more and more. The reason for that is because Megan discovered the owner's blog. That's right, he circumnavigated and he documented the entire thing on a blog. So we asked all these questions and we got the answers back. Megan finds this blog and let's just say things didn't quite match up. For example, we noticed a, a kitty cat odor on the boat. And so we asked, has there ever been any cats on this boat? The owner said, no. Oh, but then there were a couple blog posts where there were some sneaky cats on board, photographed, in fact, documenting how they've left gifts and how they actually are quite sneaky and get on board when they don't realize they're on board. Another so. example is we asked if the boat had been struck by lightning and the answer from the owner was, oh yeah, there was a lightning strike some distance away and we may have been affected. The blog post, on the other hand, said, Direct 
hit from lightning. <laughs> now maybe he's telling sea stories on his blog. Who knows? Who knows? But when you're investing this much money in a boat and you're trying to get direct answers about its history, you have to be pretty firm with the data that you're getting. And the stories with this boat were just all over the map. So we, with a smile, said, no thanks. And thanks for the entertainment. <laughs> yes. The blog oh, is fantastic. Rip the <laughs> engines off their mounts, wrap the chain around the prop. Multiple um, anchorage, you know, running Mishaps. into boats, <laughs> boats running into them. Like it was quite a story. Yeah. So yeah, we, we got a lot of chuckles. Yeah, we got a lot of chuckles. We don't want to embarrass this person. So we're not going to give you any more information than that. But. That information is out there if you wanted to do some sleuthing. Yes. Yeah, that boat sold, by the way. So somebody had a little bit more... Uh, cojones. Cojones. <laughs> Bigger cojones than us. Bigger pocketbook. Maybe. Maybe a longer time frame. You know, it wasn't even about the money. I mean, it's always about the money, right? But it, it wasn't really about the money. It was just, man, I don't want to work on a boat for a year. But yeah. anyway, that's beside the point. The, yeah. The, the main point are these muffins. <laughs> <laughs> and the tortillas oh. and the bread and the breakfast. Thank you. The pancakes you yesterday. The pancakes. Oh, yes. my God. Those were so good. It's mm. all been amazing. Yeah. I now I need like. to have one of these. I don't think there's any left for you. <laughs> Our last night. In Grenada. Yeah, I'm kind of sad to go. I like this place. Yeah. It's got a good vibe here. Yeah. Don't no. tell them where we're going. Oh, don't tell them no, where we're going. Can't tell you. I'll tell you, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> There's an ocean, but it's not nearly as warm as it is here. It's foggy. <laughs> And it's windy. Ooh. There's a boat. <laughs> There's a boat. Hey, Drew. Now it looks great. Mm -hmm. What's new? What do you got? So I don't have bacon. You can't get bacon on your burger, but you can get bacon jam, which is. Let's see it. Awesome. I mean, it's literally like, yeah, yeah. It's sweet bacon jam. Wow. I'm a fan already. Fan. New fan. It's our last morning aboard the good ship Sabado. Well said. <sighs> it's so quiet and warm. <laughs> Can you see the sweat dripping from me? <laughs> okay, this is something that I guess I, I wondered about Grenada in the hurricane season is it must be really hot down there. <laughs> I can say it's really hot down here. <laughs> Very humid and my body is um, adjusting still. I have heat hives that I've had for like a week. <laughs> Not really the trip we were expecting, huh? I don't even remember what trip we were expecting. <laughs> that's, that's how you know it was a good trip. Start out with one thing in mind and end up in a completely different state of mind, state of being. I'm in a different state of being. Did you get beamed up by Star Trek? came down here to look at a boat. Oh my God. I was thinking about that this morning, that that boat, we knew that boat was a long shot. We did. <laughs> We've been watching it for a year and we were very skeptical for an entire year. And then we finally got to a place where we we're like, you know, there's only one way to find out. And we came and we found out. <laughs> so it wasn't really a surprise. It was disappointing only for a minute because it ended up being an amazing two weeks with our really good friends. So we should have just been coming down here to have a really good time with our friends. And that's the lesson. 
is you should go and do things in your life that bring you a lot of joy. And now we're headed off to see a boat that I think could be the one. <laughs> I, I think it could be the one. I've never heard that before. What's your prediction about what's going to happen next? My prediction about this next boat? Yeah. I'm honestly kind of sick and tired of the predictions, the, oh, I'm so excited about this next boat. Um, people are commenting on the videos and saying, you know, oh, this is frustrating, you know, not working out. And uh, I hear you. I also happen to agree with you. <laughs> so the getting all worked up about this next boat being the right one. I'm a little bit over it. It's just, we gotta go get on airplanes, rent a car, drive, and, and see if this boat really is in as good a shape as the owner thinks it is. I, I just feel like we have been through many situations where the owners are just out to lunch. They just, they don't have an idea of where their boat's at. But time, time's ticking down. It's, it, it takes time to get these boats outfitted. I think we'll have maybe two and a half months, maybe three months to get this boat going and, and ready for Mexico. So that's not a lot of time. Okay, our flight was delayed eight hours. And I'd say something like that. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna oh, yeah. still make it to Ventura on the same day as planned, just a few hours later with absolutely zero sleep. These two are the best host and hostess don't in the world. Like you're not impressed. What's that? You don't act like you're not impressed. I'm so impressed. The luck of the leprechaun green man. <laughs> I can't believe he's here. That's I can't You guys planned this, didn't you? <laughs> Let's see if I can. It's so perfect. You can take us to the airport, green man. Oh my God. Thank you. We've been loving all the fruit uh, that you yeah. gave us. Oh my God. The mangoes are we delicious. You. You're on our blog. Yeah, yeah. you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were already famous before that. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. Uh, being famous and you making me move. <laughs> yes. How are you doing, Dave? Fantastic. Good time. Fantastic time. I don't want it to end. Hi. Late. Our flight yesterday was canceled from Grenada to LAX and that was after being delayed for six hours. We came to the airport at nine o'clock last night, got all the way down to the actual tarmac and they said, oh wait, actually uh, we're having a fuel problem and the flight attendant has hurt her hand on this flight so the flight is canceled. So we went to a hotel last night, and then we saw that this flight was delayed until 2.45, and then it got bumped to 3.15. So this morning we made a call to American Airlines, and they said they could put us on JetBlue at 4.25. So we went ahead and said, okay, let's go um, JetBlue to JFK, and then we'll do LA in the morning, because even if we stayed on the current flight today, we were going to be LA in the morning. So we were either going to spend the night in Miami or spend the night in New York. And we decided to roll the dice and go with JetBlue. Only to get to the airport and they say, we have no record of you being switched to JetBlue. Even though I have an email from American Airlines that says, you're confirmed for JetBlue all the way to LAX. So meanwhile, the flight here on American was going to go through at 3.15. We got in at 2.30 and they said, you're 15 minutes too late to check in to that flight. So they said they could knock it on the American flight and now they're still trying to put us on the JetBlue, which boards or takes off an hour and a half. 
So technically, we still have time to check in the jetway, and they have space, but they're having trouble getting us uh, transferred over there. So that's what's happening here in Grenada. We're just trying to make it to LA so we can go see the next boat. <sighs> and we had to push a whole bunch of stuff, surveyors, um, and haul out what was going to happen tomorrow, Friday, to Monday, hopefully. So we're waiting to get confirmation on that. How are you staying so calm? Well, it's nice here. I like Grenada. I mean, what'd she say the problem is now? She just disappeared, gave us our passports <laughs> back, and took off. I'm not sure what's what's happened. But uh, they're working on it, trying to get us on JetBlue, and uh, she's not smiling, though. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so, we'll see. We'll get back one way or another. Yeah. We'll call the Green Man. All right, I didn't get... All right, I didn't get to film us running with the gate agent to the flight, thinking they could get us on today's flight. So we got all the way through security and they said, nope, there's no seats. So I think their uh, computer systems don't really talk to real time activity very well. So now they've told us to sit down, they're calling headquarters and they're gonna either get us on tomorrow or Saturday and they're gonna put us in a hotel. So we are just waiting and uh, it's all good. It's such a test in just being okay with what is because you make choices and you live with the consequence and it's frustrating, but it's also what's happening. We don't, we can't control this. Uh, yourself? Yeah, yeah, everything, everything. Yeah. Very nice. nice. Oh, oh thank you. you. Yeah. Look the lights. Long day. Here you go, Nick. Where are we? Oh, uh, we're at Koyoba? Koyaba. Koyoba. Koyaba. <laughs> Woohoo! Wanna get your hats? Oh yeah, get my hats. Oh, thank Thanks, you. Sir. That's it? That's it? That's it? Right. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. I'm How are you? All right, American Airlines, I forgive you. I think we're even. You ready for some din din? Do you forgive me for screwing this whole thing up? <laughs> I was just trying to get us to the boat, Nick. You know, this is a case where intentions do matter. So I'm not upset with you. <laughs> but our good friend Ray on Sabado asked if there were anybody else at the airport in our same predicament. <laughs> and I said, no, I think they all got on the flight. <laughs> Flights, plural. I mean, I actually think I figured out a loophole on how to uh, have a vacation on American Airlines. <laughs> okay, this is attempt number three. <laughs> Grenada. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it's been a bummer to stick around, but it's definitely 
been complicated. Oh yeah. And confusing. But uh, yeah, looks like we got a flight this time, and we're gonna make tracks to California <laughs> for the next chapter of the adventure. <laughs> Yeah, we got really lucky because we had a potential survey and haul out scheduled for Friday. It's now Saturday, so we were able to get it rebooked for Monday. And that's really hard to do when you're trying to get a haul out on short notice. So it's a good sign that uh, we were able to stay on track with this potential next boat. What you got there? Oh, this is a uh, coffee slushy. So I used to be kind of a coffee snob, and I looked down upon the instant coffee. No more. Now you can you can put this instant coffee on anything. You can make a milkshake out of it. You can put it into a protein shake. You can put it on dessert if you want. It. Anytime you want to boost, you get the the Nest, Nestle powdered coffee. Well, I got here early. I guess not early enough. <laughs> wow. I really... Don't bad. Thank you. Don't bad. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. She doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, she was, was so helpful. Very helpful yeah. The only man who could ever reach me was the son of a preacher man. Yes, he was. <laughs> Alright, it's one in the morning on a Saturday night. I guess it's officially Sunday. And we should get to our destination around two in the morning. It's been a much anticipated uh, trip to see this boat. And the seller says, yeah, I'm, I wake up every 40 minutes, so I can show you the boat anytime you want. <laughs> That's kind of unique, looking at a boat in two in the morning. All right, it's almost 2.30 in the morning. We're just waiting for the seller to come meet us at the marina. We're here in... Beautiful Oxnard, California. The Nard. Smelled it as we came down over the hill. That that mixture of salt air and manure. Something distinctive. You pass many a mini mall as you get to the main mall. Then pass those malls. Okay. and head out towards the beach where there's some more mini malls. So, first impressions. Oh, we made it. Uh, I would not say that the excitement is boiling up, boiling through, because frankly, we're both really, really tired. This is a Katana 472. It's uh, got a huge bowsprit on it. This one, we've only seen in the dark. We got here in the middle of the night and the owner came down to let us on board, but we really have to see it in the daytime to, to make an evaluation of it. I would say the first impressions were pretty good in the dark. The inside was looked really nice and uh, definitely room for some customization. Mm, what do we say? I know. This, this is, um, hmm. 
we truly tried to vet it ahead of time. Like we tell people to do and we got a, a document from the seller that stated all the things that he's done on the boat since he's owned it. So we made an offer based on what he supplied in terms yeah. of documentation. And uh, it was a high offer. It was a high offer because we really want to get going. We really want a boat. The documentation said that the standing rigging was all new in 2017. And mm -hmm. so we made the offer based on that mm -hmm. fact. Mm -hmm. So we thought, hey, we got four <clears throat> years on this rigging. We don't have to factor that cost in today. But what came to light was that the rigging, the standing rigging that he said was all new in 2017, some of it was replaced in 2017 with Kevlar, mm -hmm. with Aramid fibers. Uh, the shrouds were, were replaced in 2017, but the lifespan for those is five to six years. Mm -hmm. So those are, those are expired. So those are the shrouds. Those are the shrouds. And then it came to light through looking at all his receipts that that was the only thing he had replaced. The bob stays, the head stays, that's all, well, he said on survey day that that's original. Mm -hmm. The standing rigging, uh, we got two quotes. One was for $36,000 mm -hmm. and the other one was for 38,000 plus a $5,000 uh, allowance for, they basically say, we need to set this aside because we always find more stuff when we get the mass down and we can't put it back up halfway done. Mm -hmm. So basically we had a very high offer. We're, and then on top of that, there was uh, another potentially $43,000 to spend. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we went back to the seller and said, hey, listen, you got to adjust for this little mm -hmm. discrepancy mm -hmm. in your documentation. And uh, what did he say? He, he said, said good uh, luck. He said good luck. There is always a silver lining. And right now we are experiencing a massive silver lining because we are staying with Nick's college roommate and his family. And we haven't seen them in seven years and we're having the most amazing time. So yeah. thank you, Dan and Liz. Um, this has just been an amazing little respite for us to to be with you and your family and also figure this out in a very peaceful place. Yeah. The long and winding road keeps me blah, blah. Sometimes buying a boat is like driving down a long, narrow highway in the fog and the rain. The roads are slippery, you can barely see the oncoming traffic. You know there's a head-on collision accident ahead. And you're headed to the airport. Whew. No stress. <laughs> Just relax and everything? Yeah, it's uh, ergonomic. Ergonomically correct here. <laughs> so what are we doing, Nick? You got on your last airplane flight uh, for a while? It's the last leg back to Portland. For how long? I don't know. How long do you think will last? I'm kind of done with airplane flying. So Never heard that before. Maybe it's time for you to get sure. Don't plane you. You get sure. Don't plane you. You get sure. Don't plane you. Cool. What is this thing? Well, I can hold my iPhone out now and we can vlog. Still vlogging. My question, I know we're trying to pack lighter, but do we have room for this bust? Um, let me see. Oh yeah, <laughs> I need this for my biceps. <laughs> Maybe some triceps. <laughs> some big things ahead for us. We are headed to the continent. We are headed to Europe. Yeah, we're gonna do some sailing. Yes, we're gonna go find our ancestors. <laughs> We are going on a multi-country expedition. Yes, we are looking for a boat and we're headed to the Khan Yacht Festival or Yachting Festival. I don't know if we'll fit in. <laughs> we'll try. 
bringing this bust along might help. Yes, yes. No, but we're headed to Iceland, France, Spain, Italy. Portugal. Switzerland. Yes. If Canary Islands. Carlos, I know you want to see us. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so if you're over there in Europe, uh, well, watch our social media, the Facebook page, the O'Kelly Facebook page, and also the Instagram. you got Megan O'Kelly. One. One. And I'm Nick O'Kelly. -E. With two eyes. Yeah. Anyway, watch the social media, and hopefully we'll connect with you over there. Yes, we can't wait. we got some great adventures coming. And somebody's turning 50. Join the club. All right, thanks everybody for sticking with us. We're still here. Yeah, you guys are you guys are marathoners. <laughs> thanks as always to the patrons. We couldn't do this without your support. Patience, patience. Yes. Good things come to those who wait, and we've been waiting a long time, so it must be a very good thing. Thanks guys for supporting us, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye.